Okay, inside the camp. And we've got a lot of the pine wall up. It's actually considerably warmer inside than out, even though there's no heat in here. And there's no floor insulation yet. Gotta do oh, there's the sink. Looking good. Everything has to be freestanding in the kitchen because of the because of the uh, fact that you can't because you get the log walls on uneven surface. We've got a little closet here, and that's the wall for the utility room. Pine looks. I like to look at this pine. Kind of hard to see in here because it's dark. Not sure if my light will help. Not too much, but that's the hot water manifold. That's the cold water manifold for the polybutylene going below the floor. That's the washer dryer connection. Here's our electrical panel. Open it up. Take a look. All right. 200 amp main breaker. I don't know what I told the power company. I think 100. So I might need to change that. Hmm. I haven't talked to National Grid. I call them and call them, but I haven't talked to them. That's where the little bathroom sink's going to go. It's a tub. Water closet location. Okay. Quiets. That's switching the sconce for the stairs. I think that's inside and outside lights switch. Let's walk upstairs, see what we got. Why are there two switches there? I have absolutely no idea. One is for that light, and I don't know what the other's for. Oh, it's for the bathroom. Oh, okay, so we got a tub upstairs now. Good. Built in. And then we're gonna step up into the uh, with a little sink, a little sink there, a little tiny cabinet sink there, and then the water closet. Small like closet for towels. Uh, another bedroom and a closet here that's shared between both sides. So half the closet's for one side, and uh, kind of half. This side's a little bit smaller. And then half for the other. We got some storage on top for towel for blankets and whatnot. Got a bedroom upstairs, a little bit bigger bedroom, uh, and again with a small clothes closet. And again, all the windows up here need trim since they're like that. Snowed a little bit last night, and I hope it stopped. Guess we'll go outside now. Uh, a lot more trim I need out here, of course. Obviously we need those. Those are temporary steps. Those need to be extended and a walkway to this porch. 
this deck I should say. Need more trim obviously all around. sealed where it goes in and he's got some ground rods set good okay pretty good cover in here here's the sewer coming out and the water going in And more trim. Trim, trim everywhere. I didn't get to that. Hey, they did the door too. That was a nice one. Made a match. There's a detail here that I gotta come back. We sealed from the inside, but that was supposed to be sealed from the outside, in my opinion, but never got done. I'm not sure what to do there. There's one on this side too. Alright. Where am I? I'm zoomed in too far. Uh uh uh. There it is. Oh, I was looking at it, wasn't I? Okay. Great. Zoom out again. It's the water and conduit. He did not glue the conduit, which is good, because he didn't put it in the right spot. He's gonna run it back along the in my opinion, it's not in the right spot. I said run it where the water line was, forgetting I had the water line temporarily coming up the middle of the slope. I want to go right along the property line with that. Probably hard to see in here, but I think I might have done this movie already. We got two switches there. I gotta do lots of trim. Trim over the doors, trim around the doors, trim around the windows, or somebody has to do it. Still need to insulate above those upper windows. As you can see, I did not get to foam those last time, and it's too freaking cold time of year to do it now. Uh, more trim. Got to finish roughing in those outlets. Some of them need a wood box around them. If they don't go into the wall all the way, let me see if I can show that. I think this was one. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think that goes in any further. Which means it needs a wood trim to go around it. Um, it's got to do with the diameter of the log varying, and you, it's hard to make it exact. Uh, the stairs. We have a choice between normal stairs, meaning standard. Uh, stick built stairs and log stairs. It's got a landing which almost has to be stick built and because there's one step There's basically one step towards the door. There's a turn 90 degree turn But we could make this section log the only issue there is I was gonna put a closet underneath that stair and you'd be looking right in the closet unless I put like a sheet of plywood underneath that or pine In which case you'd be you'd see that wood uh, so I have not figured that out. I asked Lock and Log for a price on their stair kit. Um, that's where the stove's going to go. And then there's a corner section. Here's our sink that Mary Jo picked up. Which is 36 inch. It's got two bowls. It's covered with wood so it's kind of hard to see. Maybe I can pull the wood up. Looking good. Nice sink. Wonder how many holes it has. It's got. It's got. It's a single hole there. A single hole sink. Okay. 
So uh, if you want to, I guess the question is if you want one of those poses that pulls out. So that'll be a modern type single handle uh, faucet, I guess, is what that's designed for. Let's go upstairs, see what else is not done. Well, I guess I didn't look at this light. I looked at it once before. I need a light that comes down there over this door, and there's a similar one over the double door. Uh, that's a ceiling fan that needs to be put in. We're going to run a wire along the top of that log and have two pendants off that beam, one in the living or one in the dining, and a single switch to turn them both on. Unless I think of some easy way to get two switches. That's a Scots. This is for like a reading area, a couple chairs or a couch. Bathroom's kind of funky. And I don't know that I made a good decision here, but I decided to put a regular tub in here. And that means the water closet's sort of back behind it. I was having a hard time getting the shower to fit because of the window location. And we need some kind of little bitty corner sink. Tim used Tim used clear primer instead of purple primer in some places, much to my dismay. Uh, so I said I want to witness the pressure test, which I guess will be in the spring. Um, closet, I think we might want a little bit of a ladder to get up to there because that's storage. I haven't quite figured that ladder out, but you know, some kind of small steel ladder to get up there. You could actually sleep up there if push came to shove, I guess. I could... Need to put outlets along the base here. I was going to use wire mold, so that needs, still needs to be done. These outlets need to be finished. Uh, and we need to get it stained, and there's a lot to stain. <laughs> The walls, lots and lots and lots to stain. So I'll get a price on that, I guess. Um, and then we still need to do a septic system outside, down in that flat area down there. And we need to build a pump house down at the lake. Right now we got a temporary pump house down there. We need to put a permanent pump house right on the property line. And then we need stairs. Stairs, right. I already talked about stairs, sorry. We need a railing out here. Code railing. Code railings are kind of ugly. They completely block your view. They're... And I don't know what to do about that. Evan suggested tempered glass. I don't think so. Uh, but I don't know what to say. I don't know if we can do something simple or not. I'm thinking about it. They need permanent stairs here and it needs to have a bridge that goes to that deck. A four foot wide bridge and then a step up to the deck. The deck needs railings as well and it has the same issue with code compliant railings. I need to get power in. Let's the meter box is ready to go but the Obviously, there's no power pole there. There's just a red stick. I don't know if they're going to drop this tree or not. It's leaning right towards the camp, which makes it pretty damn hard to drop. <sighs> and that's where the sewer is going to go out to the septic tank and the drain field. And if you can see this, this is the piping below ground uh, in the basement underground. The sorry the waste and vent piping. We need to thin some trees, we need to make a path, we need to clear our view. Uh, I hope the driveway lasts this year. 